welcome back everyone to another episode of Austria, where we are in the Second Great War, literally like five years after First Great War. I mean, all that talk about this to be the world, the war to end our wars is all a bunch of hooey. And yeah, we're instantly back in another Great War. <laughs> ah, man. So, uh, we rate, we're, we're just rapidly, to tell you the truth, we're just rapidly crushing any kind of French resistance right now. I mean, I am just, all the French soldiers are dying insanely quickly, and we are the model colony, thank you, thank you, we always knew we were the model colony of the world, because the world looks after, looks after and models its society after us, not those stupid Romans or those pesky Brits, but us. The proper rulers of, yeah. Anyways, so we have been having a little bit of difficulty creating tanks right now, but I think that's mainly because we don't actually have any uh, tank brigades. So I, I'm kind of angry right now with my own people for not creating any. So what I'm going to have to do instead, and because I, I really don't have the luxury of waiting for really good units to come out, I'm just going to have to build some classic, you know, artillery divisions. Because we're going to have to start, we are going to have to start beating back the Russians here soon. Because apparently the the, the British don't understand and they're kind of losing. And actually this would be a great time to call in our good friends, the uh, Ukrainians. Hey Ukraine, come in now. Yeah, there we go. So that should either make Ukraine really good. This is either going to turn the war in our favor, or it's going to turn the war against us. Depending on what happens there. Okay, over here though, uh, we're just crushing through France. I mean, look at this. Our armies are practically already at the gates. And we're just, we're just not even stopping. We're just like, boom, 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 boom. I mean, the only uh, battle, uh, if it's a little short battle, I won't care. Uh, the only thing that's really kind of worrying is that we're having some gaps over here in terms of the lines, but for the most part, we're basically crushing through the entire French army. It's now starting to become back in our war score, which I love. Now, let's add the rest of this. Uh, we already added to take over West Garcia, okay? And now I'm going to add in the acquired target of Manitoba. Or is that what it's called? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called Manazova. Uh, if it's not called Manazova, then... Yeah, this one. And basically proceed, and if I get these two things out of this war, that will not only mean like a 1.1 million population boost, but a 1.1 population boost that we can actually use! Which is gonna be nice. Like, seriously, having troops that you could actually use is gonna be nice. And then we also have the Frenchies over here, who are trying to mount some resistance. I'm going to have to crush a lot of these armies to get them to uh, be subservient to our goals. But as you guys can already see, most, I wouldn't say all, but most of the, uh, okay, you guys actually go back because you guys are almost dead. I don't know how the army almost died, but it's like literally almost dead. So you guys go back. Um, but for the rest of you guys, just stay here for a second. I'm going to move up you guys in a very slow uh, succession. We don't really need to be moving up fast right now because we're just... We have the upper advantage right now. Basically, with all armies moving in as fast as we are, uh, Germany seems to be winning this front now, which is what I like. Uh, over here, they seem to be just kind of floundering it, which is kind of annoying. They should be able to handle both fronts. And then over here, it seems like the Ukrainians are providing somewhat of a force. I'm really waiting for these guys to finish up with their conquest, because they would be really good help. Uh, Greece, would you like to be in this war? Yes, they would. Okay. Greece is also going to join this war because they're awesome vassals. Uh, you know what? You can also join this war, too. Yeah, just everyone I can just join my war. Except for Persia, because Persia just, just kind of... I, I feel like Persia would get conquered so easily if I had him in the war. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I mean, I, maybe you guys are good. Maybe you guys are proving me wrong. But it seems, generally speaking, that's what would happen. Okay. So, 
What I am going to do, though, is I think what I'm going to do is create a kind of, uh, um, holdout point, like, right here, because... Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that they don't come through and try to attack us anywhere. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to conquer all my uh, colonies. I, I know I can't stop them. So, we're just going to do the logical thing and protect ourselves in this. And to protect ourselves, we have to abandon some other people. And so, our colonies might be the worst of it, but yeah. We're abandoning our colonies. And... Man, the Spanish just are vicious. Dang, they took out everyone in their, like, in their, like, uh, conquest. I mean, literally, everyone's dead. Wow. Spain, man. You guys are vicious. All right, let's get some realism in our, in our culture, into our society. And we're just still conquering everything in our midst. Oh, man, I love this. I love this part about the game. It's so much fun. Like, Spain, I mean, France has just nothing on me. I could literally just sit here and watch them crumble because there's nothing they could do to stop me at this point. I have all, basically all of what you would call proper France underneath my control. Hey, don't you dare pick on my little, don't you dare go pick on my little Spanish people. Okay, I'll go kill you if you do that. Rejoice, the celebration of freedom. Uh, Madovia, if you guys could get less anarchy, that'd be nice. And... Let's see, what else do we need? Well, at this point, we're just kind of like finishing up a... Finishing up a lot of uh, technologies. So let's just start getting like the faster building speed. Let's go move our soldiers in right there. Once we conquer that, then we'll go destroy that three death stack. And as you guys can see, we basically conquered all of France. So soon their army won't be much of a use over here. And then Germany will just, just have to deal with the Russians. Who are now crushing on my little buddy, uh, Ukraine? Not good. Not good at all. Oh my goodness, they even made it all the way over here. Hey, Greece, get on that. I need you guys to go protect them. Okay, and then, yeah, that's getting conquered over there. Yeah, if we could hold it right here, we could probably get everything we need. Uh, we probably also need to conquer all of these forts right here, just to make sure they don't... Yeah, they don't have any men that just magically spawn out of it. Okay. We have a couple factories closing up. Open them all back up. Okay. Uh, we somehow lost that battle with no idea why. I mean, we did have... Hmm. Do we not have gas attack defense capabilities? Because I know we have gas attacks. But we don't have gas attack ca defense capabilities, do we? Let's see. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. Do we not have it? I remember we got that gas attacks, but like, which one is it? Oh man, I don't, I don't quite remember with this mod which, where they put gas attacks. But I remember we had it, and then we were like, "Yeah, good war." There it is. No, we have gas attack defense capability, so yeah, the gas attack should be null and void, because so we can defend against that. All right. Well, it seems like the Frenchies are doing some kind of unfair thing. So sending like 200 units should be enough to go defeat them. You guys, oh, friend, yeah, you ain't retreating without me retreating first. This isn't my battle. Okay, everyone run. We're gonna go have our troops go in and go intercept. Yeah, yeah, France is, you're being a jerk, France. Okay, all you guys, go right here. Go destroy them. Yeah, we're going to destroy the 63 death. Yeah. If, if, if it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna go destroy them. Spain, sure, why not? I'll enter more. I'll... I'll fight more wars for you, uh, vassal. What is even this Spanish war for aggression? Okay, we won. Okay, okay. Have you guys? Hey, have you guys decided on anything yet? Cause seriously, I don't want to fight this war anymore. Can we just end on white peace? No. 
They severely want to fight this war. Oh my goodness. Brazil just gave up already. You guys lost. <laughs> like, seriously. You guys lost. I'm not even being mean or anything. You really just lost the war. And you're honestly just dragging it out for the rest of the nations in the world. Okay, let's get that. Let's get also main armament so I can keep getting less days it takes for me to actually create new uh, new stuff. Okay, you guys go over here because this army seems to be destroying me for some reason. And finally, I'm starting to see some fight back by the French. But it's already too late. I mean, the Germans have broken through over here. And the French have basically just... The Germans and us have basically destroyed most of the French. It doesn't even matter at this point that they did break through in the end. Because we're basically going to win this. <laughs> we're basically going to win this in the end. There's nothing they can really do about it now. I should have been defending a little bit earlier. We're attacking. Bunch of these armies are now starting to become an annoying little pest. So we're just going on a massive hit them all spree. Let's go try this. Another 43 death stack army. Uh, you guys go right here, and we're just going to go kick some, some little French peoples, yeah. And, yeah, Germans seem to be just crushing through this. Good job, Germany. We're just, with 114 men versus two. This should not be really that much of a, of a, you know, shocker we should win this. But somehow they're holding out, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, that was kind of annoying, not gonna deny. And 21, 98, yeah, this is, the amount of times we keep dying in this is just kind of stupid. But I'm helping clean up the less, the rest of these men that are kind of in the backgrounds. But yeah, we made up with the rain, with the main front. Let's see, how many men do we have here dead? Seems like this army is actually pretty well defended. Okay, move them in a little bit more. Germany seems to be basically cleaning up all this. Ukraine actually is holding their own against the uh, their former masters of Russia, which is good because they're going to need to conquer a lot if I'm going to get a lot of land here. I have my men over here. Just keep conquering everything. By the way, is there any way I could get like pop? And, you know, there probably is. There probably is a way I could get like pop-ups of like sieges and stuff. Because I'm going to need to new. Yeah, I'm going to need to new that if I'm going to need to coordinate all this. This is a lot of coordinate. Okay, just keep squishing all. Squish all. Squish all. I have three... I literally have three armies chasing these Frenchies around. Because I'm very much annoyed with them. Oi. The Suez Dividends! Huzzah! Yes, go crush him. Go crush this two-stack. Go crush that two-stack. <laughs> it takes that much of my army to go crush the two-stack. I, I should be feeling sad, but I really just don't care. Just keep crushing everything. Uh, the Germans are helping moving towards Pele. Shouldn't be much longer until we actually do control the main city of Pele. But it's going to take us a little bit to get out of it. Speaking of which, this war with South America should end here soon, hopefully. Maybe, I don't know, because it's really just a war that's not going to end. And we're always going to be in it, and I'm going to be in it till I die. Okay, let's get the final... We could probably get the final upgrade towards towards industry. That way we just never have to worry about industry ever again. We have apparently some sphere of influence problems in Burma, which uh, I don't remember ever going to Burma. But, okay. Burma, everyone! Do we want Burma? Uh, the answer is no. Okay. Seems like Germany, by the way, has cleaned up all this front. It seems like my vassals over here of you know, it's a good thing they can't peace out because I'd be much more worried about that. And it looks like we have basically created a good front to where, yeah, they really can't do much against us because we're going to win this no matter what. Well, I might as well see. And we could free Ghana. I guess we could free Ghana, but there really isn't anything else I'd want to free now. Now that the French have basically deleted or destroyed every hopes and dreams I had about you know, making a powerful nation, this is, it kind of makes me sad now. It does kind of make me sad. Okay, you guys go crush those guys before they finish off that. I'm going to finish off the last little port right here. That way we basically have all of our coastline good and ready to defend. Let's see, are you guys ready yet? You guys are mostly ready. 
go over here and start crushing down all these uh, German lands. Not German lands. Russian lands. And let's see. Uh, over here in French... In Frenchland, we have mostly crushed through all of the uh, heavy hitters. We're gonna... We deplete these guys because they need to kind of heal. Uh, yeah, I guess we could probably send both of these armies back because they kind of both need to heal. You guys keep crushing on this army. And let's see, I think that's basically... Ah, uh, what do you guys need? If it's something big... Please tell me it's not something big. Northern Macedonia. Hmm. You guys are, are idiots. Okay. Yeah, you didn't think I'd join in. And now... No, no, no. Yugoslavia. You don't understand. Not only will I call them in, I'm going to call my good friends the Germans in. And as soon as this war is over, you guys are going to be coming in to help. So let's see. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now... After the war is done, Yugoslavia, as soon as we're done with our, our conquest of whatever we need to do, we're all going to come in and go defeat you. It's just going to take us a little bit because we're kind of all lazy. We're kind of all just fighting this war right now, which is making our troops very, very lazy. And look at that. All the way to Paris, the French had no chance. French had no chance. We just destroyed whatever army they did have. I mean, I'm not even fully deployed, people. That, that's what I mean. This is not even like... I wish it could say that I was really fully fighting this to the bitter end, but really, I'm just, I'm just kind of taking it easy and just watching this entire war play out. Okay, let's go back down to Africa, though, because there is a kind of tiny little theater of war I'm actually trying to fight. Okay, they're going to siege all that good. Let's go siege the last little province over here. That way we can cut off any kind of relationships between them and France. And wartime elections, wartime elections, we don't want to give them free full citizenship let's get back to residency because I'm not I guess I don't give my people full rights equal rights but I do give them the chance to uh, I guess we can crush some of these factories let's see is that early yeah early factories we don't really need early factories anymore so let's start crushing some of those I mean late factories I probably should keep but early we could probably destroy and yeah look at that and the gym, the troops are literally right out outside of uh, Paley. In fact, we're gonna go see if we can go snatch up Paley before any other uh, troops get to there. But most likely, they're probably gonna get to Paris before we do. But unless, hey, hey, get to Paris, get to Paris, everyone! We're gonna go get to Paris. We must. The Austrians must be the ones controlling Paris. Yes, yes, good job. Now we are going to be the ones conquering Paris. And once we're all done with over here, then we're just going to turn all of our men around, and then we're going to go all the way back. Oh my goodness, America, you guys are jerks. Seriously, I'm not even fighting the war for you. Seriously, I'm not even... Uh, you know, if I get an opportunity, I'm going to go kill you. Okay, and yeah, it looks like the Yugoslavians are winning just a little bit of this war, but as long as I'm in control of this war, I will basically say we're never going to give up. And we're going to fight this to the bitter end. What I mean by bitter end, I mean bitter end. So, Russia, on the other hand, is being a little bit of a... I'm not even sure where the front is anymore. But the good thing about this is that once we are all done over here with the uh, French lens, then we basically... All these troops over here on our side are basically going to be turned around and go got to the Eastern Theater. Which will then basically force Russia to admit that they are going to be defeated and destroyed in a good way. Let's get some state capitalism, seriously. Okay, and apparently we're still- we almost got a great literacy rate in our country, which is awesome to think about. But we still don't have it to the point where we would have wanted it. Like, at this point in the game, I would have hoped we would have had a 100% literacy rate. Apparently we still don't have that, which annoys me. And... Uh, in a couple days, people, we will have Paris. We're about to have Paris. We're about to have Paris. Yes! Yay! Paris is now ours, which means it's official. We have the French capital of the world destroyed basically all the industry. I mean, they probably have some industry somewhere else, but most of their industry is now dead. Most of their troops are now dead. So now it's time to start turning our attention to all these Russian lands and this theater of where... Of war. I haven't really been paying attention to this theater of war because look at that. Just look at that. Seriously. That's just like. 
What? Who's winning in this section? I, I don't even know. That's why I've let the Germans fight most of it, because it's like, I don't even know. Okay, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.